Fred, the uh, concept of a multiverse uh, during my views of it during the last few decades has gone from science fiction to philosophy, metaphysics, uh, to science, and now some claim to precision cosmology. Uh, yet there's great controversy among uh, your colleagues and, and some of my friends uh, about whether a multiverse is real science as opposed to just speculation, which, which is fair, but not to be categorized as science. Uh, from your perspective in the trenches of astrophysics, when you look at your colleagues dealing with multiverse uh, uh, disputations, uh, what's your approach? Yeah, on the question of multiverse, there's a number of approaches that one can take. On the question of is the multiverse science, I, th I, think, I, I, I think that this, it's the wrong question to ask is the multiverse science, because I think it sends us down a rabbit hole. Instead, one should ask, what does the study of the multiverse do for you? Mm. And on that score, I think it does a couple of things. If the multiverse is real, as in there are other universes, then by studying them, we learn something about our own universe. Even if the other multiverses or other universes in the multiverse don't exist, I think we learn something anyway. Because by studying how, let's say, stars or galaxies would be and live and die in another universe with different parameters, different cosmological parameters, different physical constants, by studying those issues, we understand how they work in our universe better. So we get an understanding of our own universe by studying others. And that's very valuable, independent of the question of whether the multiverse mm. exists, which is, again, independent of the question of, is it science? So let's not waste our time asking, well, is it science? Let's ask the question, is this endeavor actually getting us, making us progress somewhere? And the other reaction one could have to your question of what about the multiverse is that I think questions like the multiverse are currently the boundary between science and not science. And again, I don't think that we get a lot of mileage out of like trying to define the boundary precisely. Clearly, the multiverse lives in between in that it's science. It was motivated by science. Some of the things, some of the science that motivates it can be tested in our universe. Mm. But at the same time, by definition, another universe is another universe mm. and you're not going to do an experiment there. That's what makes it another universe. So it's outside the parts of it. The other universes themselves are outside the realm of experiment. So that's the boundary. What would you be looking for in terms of progress, either from uh, kind of fa counterfactual theoretical uh, models or, or, or data as, as, as uh, uh, speculative or as weak as it may be? Well, I think the best I would hope for is for a coherent, complete, understandable, calculable theory of quantum gravity to emerge. People are certainly working on that, but I don't think that the current theories do all of those things quite yet. And if we had such a thing, then we could predict how a universe gets launched from whatever space-time manifold launches it to its current trajectory. And if we could understand that process in detail, the same way we currently understand how a star forms, this would be how a universe forms, then we could more legitimately speculate and even calculate how other universes are launched, what their properties might be. And then we could take the idea that there are other universes even more seriously than we do now. Yeah, uh, in that process, uh, the, the search for quantum gravity, of course, is done completely independent of, of the multiverse. Uh, no, concept. they're doing it just because uh, we need to understand quantum mechanics and gravity right, together. Right, of course. Yes. Of course. So, so that's being done, and what you're saying. But suppose that is not as successful. That project is not successful. It might take a while. <laughs> uh, what, what happens with the multiverse? Uh, can you still make progress in the multiverse without that? Oh, I think you can. It's just that that would be the ultimate. That would be yeah. a, a nice way to make sure, a lot of progress. Sure. Right? Make, make, it would help a lot of things. But suppose you don't get that. Can you still make progress in the multiverse? People are trying. Yeah. Well, I think that's what we're all trying to do is just understand. Um, and the first, we're trying to understand what it takes for a universe to be habitable. Right. And I think that's step one. And I think that first step can be um, can be solved. Yeah, and that's some of the stuff you're doing in terms yeah. of counterfactual universes, because those are those would, could be kinds of multiverse. Exactly. Um, the, I do have to admit that the next step of assigning probability distributions to 
those different universes or the values of the constants in those other universes um, might be a long time coming. 